Right. So that's it. Almost half an hour. Probably not gonna edit. <laughs> Probably it's just gonna be up like this. So if you did watch, thank you. If you got bored and skip, you should. <laughs> and um, hopefully I'll make better videos um, later on. Bye guys. I need to work on my outro as well and intro I don't have any hi guys this is gonna be the food that we're gonna be eating today well that's already two gunners this is the food that we're gonna be eating today let me just level this little table a little bit okay so I cooked chicken with beer look at these decorative green things that um, I purchased a long time ago I never used came in handy made it look fancy so this is like uh, the white sweet corn so it's not the sweet kind it's the, the sticky savory kind so we have that um, and then I only had tomatoes as other vegetables so I just have tomatoes and that corn and chicken that I had and I cooked it with beer and um, uh, beer and what's it called the um, uh, the the Korean chili paste and um, onion paste so I cooked it with that that's really good and this is the the purple um, vegetable juice with this fancy ice that I made um, I put like a papaya and sun kiss bits into this ice tray and then I made ice with it so Mm-hmm. We've got that. And then small table. And um and then I've got my brand new like petrol looking shiny, I don't know what it's called. Um what this um sheen is called, but um knife and spoon and fork set. I really cannot talk. I don't even know why I'm doing this video. I'm bad at talking. Anyway, and this is the brown rice that I cooked with, um, ooh, light. This is the brown rice that I cooked with, ooh, it really doesn't focus. Okay, this is the brown rice that I cooked with, um, vinegar and pepper and some salt. So it should taste good on its own. I didn't want to mix it in with vinegar afterwards, um, like, you know, the sushi rice that you, that you do. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit salty. It's a little bit heavy. So, um, I just have to eat it with rice. Like, it, it's good with rice. Just without, it's a little bit salty. So, I wanted to eat like the Koreans do. Like, where they put a sheet of, um, a sheet of seaweed in front of their mouths and then like shove a spoonful of rice afterwards you know like mm -hmm. that's good I'm gonna make myself a small onigiri cuz I was gonna make onigiri but I was like, I always want, I also want to eat just rice by itself, so I was like, I'll make small onigiris, because these seaweed sheets are expensive, like, I wasn't sure whether I want to use, like, too many, or, you know, do I want them in one big sheet, like, to make one big onigiri, or cut them up smaller so that I can do that thing that I did with the spoon. But now I can make just smaller onigiris than the usual. And this is just cheese that I'm gonna put. Ooh, don't go away! Okay. This is quickly turning into a very messy show. Okay. So close one side. Close one side. I'm gonna put this cheese on top close the other side. I probably couldn't fit all of this in my mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I never made this before. I, whenever I cook food in my kitchen, I don't really follow a recipe. I just go into the fridge, look at what I have, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put this and this together. And then it just works out, you know? I don't actually have a recipe for anything. There's been like maybe two times that it's turned into a disaster. I think things would go, put it in, and it doesn't. And one time was with my ex-boyfriend. I cried and asked him to take me out to dinner. And then, um, another time is with was with my friend Jess when I tried to put beetroot into ramen that wasn't good and it was like fresh beetroot as well it's not even the, the tin can ones shame the only greens I have are fake today well I didn't have kimchi though I did use this um, pickled Chinese cabbage thing so you know that you get in plastic bags oh this fork is not working okay oh no come come hither successful mm -hmm. because of the red chili paste the red Korean chili paste and then the sweetness from the onion paste the cabbage doesn't really taste normally by itself it doesn't taste anywhere near kimchi, but now it does. And those three are put together, kind of does. And it has the, the right texture to be kimchi, so. Another little onigiri. A mukbang beginner so if I talk weird or, or unclear or too fast or trip over my own words it's because I haven't been I have it's not you know regular that just that I just speak see just now that I just speak into a phone even if I'm speaking to a person I still trip over my words so forgive me this way bone but I lost it <laughs> man I make good food I do, I do, I do. Oh no, I want 
too many things in the same bite. I want the cheese and I want the rice mixed with the sauce and I want the seaweed. Okay, got it all. Do I put it in here? Do you do it like this? Like this. got a tool for this. Haha. There's too much liquid still. You can't hear the ice. I was watching a Korean soap opera, but I got up to cook this because I'm like, I want to have a nap with a full tummy. It's Friday, but I have a performance this evening. I'm going to do a dance performance in Mahabandula Park in Yangon. So <clears throat> I thought I'd cook myself some food, take a nap, and then go to the performance, full energy, oh, and stretch at home because we don't have a space to stretch there. So that's that's my plan. I've done my shores already. like big bites like when you watch mukbangs you watch like big bite videos like I like big bites but I don't like big bites that are too big because they look a little bit uncomfortable and they look like they're gonna choke I can definitely taste the beer in that one. I watch a lot of ASMR shows. I watch also, you know, even if it's not ASMR, just eating shows. <coughs> um, with regular sound I would I would watch them but some ASMRs are like too noisy they're so loud they they just crunch all the time or like I don't know it was, it's just too loud maybe it's their, their uh, microphone setting or something or some people just like it that way but it's distracting okay. I've done enough of the shove the spoon into my mouth thing so let's try a delicate The um, Eat With Me shows, or ASMR, I don't think they're that popular in Yangon. People haven't done it yet. I mean, it might be, I just haven't seen it, or, or I haven't seen any from Yangon. And as for me, I don't know how to add it. 
so I keep making videos but they're too long and like it takes a long time for me to like cut bits of it and then put them back together like the simplest tasks like that let alone you know having effects or little words pop out every time you want to like make fun of yourself or just trying to fill a gap right, I don't know how to do those I only edit on my phone so I just keep thinking oh the content is un uninteresting you know so I never put it up like I make a lot of these videos like I I filmed myself like making food and also eating food but I haven't posted I'll probably post this one because although I still think I mumble a lot this food is worth putting it out there They'll, this will probably be my first uh, mukbang video or second like the, the thing with the internet here like YouTube you can only put up very short videos like I have a hard time trying to upload a video that's like 20 minutes long so you know and eating does take about 20 minutes if it doesn't then you're not chewing very well so yeah Remember, I made really good wraps. I made really good wraps with like meat, veg, and cheese in them. But I didn't upload that one. I remember making a aloe vera drink, aloe vera um, lemonade kind of doing like making of video and I didn't put that up because it just keeps failing to upload so I gave up <coughs> and um, there's something else that I did I can't remember it was of me eating as well I can't remember the food I tried to put that up that didn't go up either so so far, I have failed. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see with this one. I'll try harder to put it up. Do you remember the um, old sayings that your parents used to tell you, like Burmese ones, okay? They're weird. Like, if you tell this to a European person, they'd be like, what? <coughs> um, things like, if you eat lying down, you become a snake. If you sing while you eat, you become a beggar and things like that to stop you not do the things that you want, like they don't want you to do while you're eating. Do you guys have that? Right. Comment down below what's the um chow day, you know, like what's the chow day things that your parents used to say to you? I just said comment down below. That's my first ever saying comment down below. Because I know my videos will never make it up there. Or anybody would give a beep to actually watch it. Mm. But um, this time I'm going to put in extra effort to put it out. So I'm saying comment down below. Comment 
down below. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's the next video you want me to do. Mm. I'm getting full. I'm back pushing. I need to get a better set if I if I think I'm gonna do this more. Right now I have very basic stuff. <coughs> Last sheep must go with cheese. My neighbors took my dogs from me to um, let them have a nap at their house, so they're not at mine. If not, I would give them the bones. chicken eating slow makes me full well I haven't been exactly slow but oh come on do, 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 do. Eat this tomatoes. I'm going to try and finish a bit more of the chicken. I mean, there's basically just bone left, so. And I'm going to finish the rice. Probably not the sweet corn, um, not sweet corn, the savory corn. <laughs> okay. mm. Actually, I meant to Google if people in eating shows actually eat like 7,500 7, kilocalories. Like the titles say that. I was gonna like Google it to, to see if they actually eat all of that or they just eat a bit and skip and eat a bit and skip. Make it look like they eat it. Cause it's like, that's a lot. How does your body function after that much food? And you obviously have to space it out because you wouldn't do these videos all the time, you'll die. <coughs> so how do they do it? Let me know. Comment down below. How they do it? Okay. Last one. I wanna eat this and then do a mouthful talk like like the Korean soap operas. Mm, that's what 
they say, right? Mmm. <coughs> 75 minutes already. So satisfied, but so full. I'm gonna get a good nap. A satisfied tummy, a satisfied heart, a satisfied head. <coughs> That's what we need. Next time I'll try to make a list of names of people, people's eating shows that I watch. Chan. Mm. Chicken bone and blanket. There we go. Mm. Still so much liquid. You still can't hear it. Well, the ice is completely melt almost. There's only like fruit pulp left in there, so it's not gonna make a clinky noise. For everyone who's been waiting for me to wipe my mouth with a paper t tissue, because you know, I get that sometimes when I'm watching like an eating show and that guy has like a little thing here and he never like, he never licks it or like he never like takes tissue to, to wipe it. <coughs> I'm just like, get rid of it, you know, like do something, pick it or wipe it or lick it, like something, just do something. I'll be waiting for him to do that. And I feel like I've been waiting for myself to do that as well, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have paper towels and I'm a lazy ass. So I'm not going to go get it. Only when I go and take this into the kitchen, I will um, wipe my mouth. <coughs> 